Hi everyone. We're here to do a quick competitive overview of the Lux clone system here in our product demo lab. That's the Lux clone system there in this box. And next to it is the FGI flex clone system in this box. First, we unbox the Lux and we see two LED strip bars. Uh, there's power cord in the box, 110 volt plug, and some simple mounting clip hardware to clip on the back of the units to connect the units to a rack. Unboxing the FGI Flex Clone System, we find similar things. We've got some simple mounting hardware, 110 volt cord, and two of the light bars wrapped up in plastic and an instruction sheet for those of us who like to be told what to do. Got our postal scale. The Lux weighs 13 ounces, so we'll shy of a pound. On the postal scale, the Flex Clone system comes in at 20 ounces, about a pound and a half. And look up why in a second. Taking a look at the build, on the right, the Lux has a plastic cover that protects the diodes. And on the left side, the Flex Clone system uses a conformal coating, which is a rubberized coating sprayed on the diodes. Comparing the two in terms of diode technology, the Flex Clone uses the patented FGI Spectrum with warm and neutral LED diodes mixed, alternating. And the Lux uses what appears to be a single color LED chip and an alternating chip, which is probably red. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit with Spectrum. Turning them on their back, you get a sense of the construction quality for both of them. The FGI Flex Clone system is definitely a heavier duty product. The outside shell is all aluminum and it's fully waterproof. The Lux system is all plastic design, so not as good at dissipating thermal heat. So I really think the, uh, the Flex Clone system wins there. Just plugged in the Lux and it is pulling 17.6 watts from the wall with 110 volt power. And here we are looking at the FGI Flex Clone system drawing 25 watts from the wall. So quite a difference in power output from the two lights. Just plugged in the two lights side by side and um, my first reaction was wow. Um, quite a different approach to lighting seedlings and young plants. The FGI Flex Clone system uses two different colors of white diodes. I mentioned that before to achieve our spectrum, which we've used in all of our grow lights for years. We don't vary. And the Lux unit is using a mix of, looks like full spectrum white, blue and red diodes. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure these spectrums and take a look and see what they look like. So you can see the difference between the two spectrums. Flexiclone on top and Lux on the bottom in blue. The Lux has a lot of blue energy and very little orange and red energy, which is surprising given the red diodes. And you can see there is more light output coming from the FGI Flex Clone system than from the Lux system, which would make sense because it's actually drawing more power from the wall and using more power to create that spectrum. So that's a review from Forever Green Indoors. We tried to be as unbiased as possible, taking a look at the Lux clone system versus the FGI Flex clone system. Thanks for watching.
this is the spectrum, and you'll notice that the flexiclone system is using a much more orange-red spectrum. Despite the red diodes that are installed in the Lux, you can see there's a lot of blue energy there. And then from a PAR output standpoint, you can see additional PPFP energy being produced by the flexiclone system as compared to the Lux. So that means you can keep it a little further away. Just to be fair, we do make the flex clone system here at Forever Green Indoors. And we want to do an unbiased review if that's possible, and we appreciate you listening.